Hey everybody, I wanted to do a comparison video between the Fisher XV2 10 and a half and the nine and a half plow. So I've plowed with this big 10 and a half now for two seasons. This is the third season and I believe on the nine and a half, I've uh, nine seasons on that one. I got that right when that one came out. I think that's nine seasons. This is the 10th. So the first obvious difference is just bigger, right? 10 and a half, nine and a half feet wide and four inches taller, four inches taller in the center and four inches taller out on the end of the wing. So along with the bigger size blade comes larger rams. These are quite a bit larger than on the nine and a half. You know, these are small. They, they look small now compared to these. Same amount of springs, six springs. Um, on the nine and a half, these blade stops were a bolt-on option. Um, mine have broken right out and fell out the back so mine are now welded on and also on the nine and a half right here you could adjust the height of the t-frame to adjust it for different vehicle heights that is now welded on the ten and a half one piece so the, the blade stops come welded in standard and there's no adjustment here. You just have the three holes in the back like we did before. So the other big difference is this snow control piece in the center. I don't know why those um, never did tighten up on there. Maybe it's been moving around like that for years. It's all right. So this is just a piece, you know, a small piece on a rod there. Um, and they kind of have the sides built into the, the blade. And on the new ten and a half, they have a much larger piece in the center. It actually weighs 20 pounds. I weighed it because I redesigned this um, bracket that holds it on because it just vibrated and cracked and fell off uh, this season. The main cutting edge, center pieces, and the main piece are the same as the 9.5. So for the 10.5, they just added these 6-inch pieces, and they come with a nice curb stop on them. That's pretty nice. Um, nothing like that on the 9.5. You, you can uh, add some curb stops on here that come out. They're a thick piece of metal. They work pretty good. I have a set. I took them off when I um, got the extensions for the nine and a half and I just never put them back on. I don't use the extensions anymore because I just use the bigger plow most of the time. I really like the 10 and a half. I'd buy another one of those even though it has a few design flaws. But um I like it a lot. It fits that truck perfectly and I've been using it this season on the Ford and it works just fine. It's a 350 Ford. One ton. And for some reason this is the um, holder for your wires just to store them in the plow which was perfect right here. But on the ten and a half, they moved them from the driver's side over here to the passenger side. And when it's on the Ford, it's it's really a pain to get over there. It's a little more open on this truck. So the major difference, <clears throat> those are all differences, but the major difference that I really like about this ten and a half is this bolt right here this allows this plow to pivot like this and i do a lot of driveways at a ski area very hilly 
Um, you know, so when I'm coming out of a driveway, my plow might be twisting quite a bit. And evidence of that is, you know, I've had these break right off these braces here. I've welded both of these on and reinforced them more than they were. Um, put a reinforcement piece on the side, which wasn't there before. So this plow can actually pivot. Has a little leaf spring on the top to kind of hold it in one place so it doesn't just wiggle around. But then it can pivot on that. Let me uh, raise it up and I'll show you. It's not a lot, but it helps quite a bit. From there, center, there. The truck's a little bit at an angle, so it looks like it's going more one way than the other, but that is the key feature that I really like about this. For what I'm doing, I need that. Same wiring, I can switch the plows, interchange them from truck to truck, same controller. Just need to turn on the switch. So all in all, I love this thing. foot wider, four inches taller, and pivots. Those are the major differences between the two.